My name is Dr. Priti Kachari. I'm a neurologist, neurosurgeon and epileptologist. Epileptologist is a person who specializes in a condition called epilepsy. Epilepsy is in common terms known as convulsions, fits, valipinoi, murtsadabu, mirgi in various languages. Now today we'll just learn a few tips on if you have epilepsy, what are the do's and don'ts that you have to follow. The first important tip in the do's will be that you have to take your tablets exactly as the doctor prescribed at the same time every single day. And usually the treatment is from three to five years. So if after taking the tablets for a while you miss a tablet, you're likely to have very severe seizures. Also don't change the brand of the tablet with the, without the doctor's permission. And together with the tablet, there are certain lifestyle conditions that one has to follow. One of the most important triggers of a seizure is sleep deprivation. So if you do not get six to eight hours of sleep every night, the risk of a seizure is very, very high. So make sure that you sleep enough. Second, fasting is not advisable for people with epilepsy. Because when the blood sugar falls, it can trigger a seizure. So eating regular meals, getting regular sleep is very, very important. Heat, exposure to high heat can also trigger epilepsy. So do not go spend too much time for too long in very hot sun. So in summer when it is 40, 45 degrees, children with epilepsy should not go and play cricket, for instance, in the outdoors between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. when the heat is maximum because they can get fits. And if you do have to go out in the sun, make sure you are adequately hydrated. Drink enough water. Another important trigger of epilepsy, especially in some kinds of patients, is watching too much television or sitting at the computer system for too long. Flashing graphics like video games can trigger fits. And this is more likely to happen in a type of epilepsy called photosensitive epilepsy. These patients are more prone. In fact, they can even trigger a seizure if while they are traveling the leaf, wind blows through the leaves and causes varying shadows. If a striped curtain blows in the breeze, if they walk in an escalator and look down or up at the escalator, all those striped things can trigger a seizure. And last but not least, it is very critical for a person with epilepsy not to drive a motor vehicle. Because not only will you have a seizure, if you have a seizure, you will harm yourself, you will harm others as well. There are these few lifestyle modifications are actually good health advice. And so one need not feel bad that one has to follow this advice in addition to the medication. Last but not least for every individual to know, one needs to know what to do if you see somebody having a seizure. If you see someone having a fit, please don't panic. The first thing is try to lower them down to the floor where they cannot fall from the floor and put something soft under their head so that when they are jerking, the head does not hit the ground and injure it further. Turn the face and mouth to the side so that the saliva flows out. Turn the patient also to the side. There is no need to hold down the patient jerking and jerking limbs, etc. And never, never give anything orally to drink or eat during a seizure. Because if they aspirate that fluid, it can go into the lung and endanger life. Most seizures are over in one and a half to two minutes and after that wait for the person to recover fully before you leave them alone because in some patients they are confused they may get up walk especially if they fall on the street they may walk across a vehicle they may get into an accident 
And once the person is fully alert and awake and able to have a logical conversation with you, it is okay to offer them something to drink. Epilepsy is not something to be alarmed about. It is a brain condition. There is treatment for it. It is controllable. And there are a lot of things which will enable a person with epilepsy to have good quality of life and live a full life with everyone, like everyone, in spite of epilepsy.